the tallit, which covered Yeshua's head, was there by the side of the tomb, folded by him. proving beyond all doubt that he had risen. And the Afikomen of our Passover foretold just such a thing? Just as a child who finds the Afikomen is rewarded, so are we, the children of God, rewarded by finding Yeshua. But our reward is far, far greater. It is the gift of eternal life. Is all this mere coincidence? Or is it prophecy fulfilled? While they were eating, Yeshua took bread, broke it, and said, eat of this, for this is my body. Truly the bread of affliction is the body of the Messiah. It is time for the third cup, the cup of redemption. The third cup represents the third I will of God. I will redeem you. This was his third promise to us in Egypt. Baruch Adonai, Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Priyogethen, Amen. This was the cup that Yeshua took and gave thanks with and gave to his disciples, saying, Drink ye, from this, for this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant poured out for many for the forgiveness of our sins. The fourth cup, the cup of Hallel, the cup of praise that all who believe in him will drink in God's kingdom when we are gathered unto him. As the Lamb of Egypt spared our firstborn from God's wrath, so Yeshua's blood poured on our hearts who cause the angel of death to pass over us in the hour of judgment. Judah, Judah. Why are you the only rabbi who knows the truth? When our forefathers were delivered from Egypt and everyone witnessed the exodus of our people, what has your Messiah done except divide our people? You know as well as I do, Yitzhak, that there are many priests and Pharisees who believe that Yeshua is the Messiah. And all of you tailor the scriptures to say what you want them to say. You know the scriptures as well as I do, Isaac. Tell me, what word have I changed? What makes you so sure? What makes you so utterly convinced he's the promised one? Because I was there, Isaac, from the miracles to the cross. I was by his side. I saw those miracles. I heard him speak the words of God, his Father. I saw the pain. was there when he was crucified. I witnessed 
heaven's tears. I saw it all. Several days later, Cleopas and I, we were walking to the village of Imaus. We were talking about Yeshua, about how he had died, and when someone joined us, asked us what we were talking about. I told him, surely you, you must have heard about the terrible suffering of Yeshua of Nazareth in Jerusalem. What they had done to him. And that we had heard that he, that he had now risen. This man laughed and said to us, O oh, foolish men, and slow of heart not to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary for the Messiah to suffer so that he could enter into his glory? At that moment we realized it was Yeshua. We ran to Jerusalem, and we told the others, and at that moment, he appeared to us again. He had risen. Father, surely you don't believe this. Why don't you say something to him? As Yeshua arose to the heavens, his final words to his disciples were these. I have been given all authority in heaven and earth. Fulfilled. Our Messiah has come. Praise be to God. Therefore, go and make disciples in all nations, immersing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Teach them to obey all the commands that I have given you. And be sure of this, that I am with you always, even to the end of the world. <laughs>